justice and mercy revival in our city we wait for you lord christ our king be enthroned be lifted high christ recently through the book of John and Acts with a small group. And I've been struck by the shift that took place in Peter's life over a very short period of time. He went from fearful to fearless within a matter of weeks. In fact, the event that that bridged those two opposing states of mind were the, the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. In John chapter 18, you can read how Peter Man, he was full of fear. In fact, he denied even knowing Jesus by when he was intimidated by the questions of a servant girl. She had no power, no authority, but he denies even knowing Jesus three times. A few short weeks later, after the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus, you can read in Acts chapter 5 that, that Peter and the rest of the apostles were actually thrown into prison. And then they were brought before the high priest and the the Sanhedrin, which was like the Supreme Court of Israel. They had the most power and the most authority. And they say to Peter and the others, they say, we gave you strict orders not to teach in this name, the name of Jesus. This time, instead of a fearful response, Peter replies full of faith. And he says, we must obey God rather than human beings. The God of our ancestors raised Jesus from the dead. And man, he goes on to say that, hey, we can't keep quiet about this. In him is repentance and forgiveness of our sins. And we are witnesses to these things. We can't keep quiet about this. Well, the Sanhedrin were furious. In fact, they wanted to kill them. Instead, they just beat them really badly with whips. And then they send them out with strict orders to stop teaching in the name of Jesus. Well... You can read this in Acts chapter 5, 41 to 42. It says, The apostles left the Sanhedrin rejoicing because they had been counted worthy of suffering for the name, the name of Jesus. Day after day in the temple courts and house to house, they never stopped teaching and proclaiming the good news that Jesus is the Christ. Man, I want to be full of faith like that. I want to be fearless. I wanted to be I want to be counted worthy. If, if I was called to suffer for the name of Christ, would I be would I stand up? Would, 
Would I be unstoppable in sharing my faith and the hope that we have in Jesus with others? So God, I pray that today fill me, fill us with faith in you and the difference that your death, burial, and resurrection makes in our lives and is available to everyone around us. God, let your greatness, the greatness of the name of Jesus, our Christ, our King, be seen through us today and heard through our words today. I pray this in your name. Amen.